And welcome to your Go Market Update charts of the day for today. It's the 26th of September 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst, to lead you around what's happening in market news today. With a couple of charts to have a look at, of course. All US major indices slightly higher overnight. We saw the Nasdaq and the S&P snap a four-day long losing streak. Mild gains, which were fairly broad-based. However, interest rates, government funding issues and continued weaker data still remain a concern. We've had rating agencies moody come out today and suggested that there will be a negative US credit rating if there is a government shutdown, which is looking increasingly likely as the political game playing continues. US futures, as a result of that, have dropped in early Asian trading. Asian markets down on that statement and have ignored that positive US lead. ASX is currently trading around half a percent to the downside and European futures are also dropped since Asian Open. The VIX was neutral overnight but is creeping higher in Asia again on the back of that news. US dollar index hit six months highs again last night, it's slightly higher in Asia. Gold is edging down towards that 200 EMA support. Copper is still just about holding on to support by its fingernails and we did see oil weaker overnight but still near those multi-month highs which are concerning from an inflationary point of view. We saw Bitcoin lower again yesterday, the price is moving towards the bottom of the range and not a lot of data out again today. We've got US consumer confidence and housing data, the only news of note really. Out of the US on Friday, the PCE is the major number for the week. Locally, we've got the CPI number out tomorrow. A couple of charts that caught our eye. We are seeing some weakness in the euro. If you look at the hourly chart, this was the low from yesterday at around about this 105.78. If this is breach, we would see some more selling going on, we suspect, possibly even as far as this 105.27, should there be some momentum behind this move to the downside. If we just put this on a daily chart, you can see the significance of this 105 level. As I said, we suspect that we may well drift down towards there during the course of the day. So around about 50 pip drop is potentially on the cards. On the ASX, we are seeing some interesting price action on Parenti, which has been trading within a range really since the early part of August and this earnings drop here. We look as though we could be setting up for a potential retest of this 105, 106 level. Plenty of upside here in percentage terms, even if it just manages to get up to this 112 area. But we suspect there may be a move up in the medium term and providing your patient up towards this 116 level, which will be a move up of around about 9% from current price. Worthwhile checking out towards the back end of the day, but patience is a virtue on this. We need to see it breach that resistance level that has been so prevalent over the last few weeks. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.